Hi guys, uh, I'm making this video to talk about uh, Ableton Live, the PDC such plugin delay compensation uh, that for me has a severe flow and some of you have probably seen it but uh, basically plugin delay compensation is a system that all those are, are using to keep stuff in sync if you use some plugin with latency it will delay all the other tracks so they keep relatively synced compared to what you wanted so this part of audio uh, plugin delay compensation works fine in uh, Ableton Live hopefully but there is one problem is that the clock is not latency compensated the clock plugins receive is not compensated so I can easily uh, demonstrate this to you here there is a simple track which are only one note with a scene uh, operator and if we play it it's, uh, it's uh, just a scene and a decay so far so good if we engage metronome we are tight on grid but now watch uh, and then I add an auto pan to get this on beat I engage, auto pan, I engage metronome same here it's sync but now let's have a look what happens if I add a latency plugin. For example, I can on, even use a live on a device. For example, in a, a compressor, I have some looked options. If I add 10 minutes gone, listen to what happens. I will duplicate to, to see more. You can hear it. The timing is completely fucked up because autopan, the audio has been delayed, but autopan didn't delay of the same amount, the clock it received. If I remove all, now it's back in sync. So this is a big problem for me because that means that any VST, uh, including scope, that use uh, transport can't be used with uh, latency before then. So yeah, uh, maybe report this to Ableton because that's 10 years they know this and they don't seem to care. <coughs> but, um, so yeah, I uh, try to work around this. This is a problem for me because for Psyscope people tell me, yeah, it's in sync in live and uh, <coughs> I can't really do anything about it because the plugin doesn't know uh, what latency uh, live doesn't correct the clock. So I get... Uh, delayed audio on the wrong clock so all plugin developers that do this uh, have same problem <coughs> but they are kind of workarounds so here i'm gonna try to show you a workaround is <coughs> i made this track with no latency and i duplicate same with latency <coughs> to show you and uh, if we um i will remove the top one for now if you watch on Psyscope, we can see it here. One with no latency and the one with latency. And they are not synced. While audio-wise, they are synced. So that is a problem. Uh, and uh, to compensate this, I had made a system in Psyscope that will let man uh, compensate latency manually. So on the tracks that have latency, we can move over the device and live tells us the latency in samples at the bottom left. Here it tells me it's uh, uh, 3K samples. So I can report this by clicking on the sound that have latency. Here there is a latency button. I can double click and enter that latency. So that's 3, 4, 7. Okay. And now, if we watch them on layer or stack, they are back aligned. So, so far so good. This is a, a kind of of okayish work around but it it really becomes a pain when you have a lot of groups and groups inside of groups and some latency on tracks and latency on the bus and latency on swimming it's it's really a pain you have to report it every time you have the plugin or remove and uh, so i tried to find the best way to deal with this with live and i came up with two solutions so i will reset back latency there are some cases where in live routing when you ca where you can uh, deal a bit better with this. 
for example here so they are in sync if, if i uh, remove my uh, latency correction they are in sync okay but now if we can uh, the what the first work around i will show you is to use uh, some new you can add a new uh, return track so here i will add two return tracks and instead of using my telescope directly on the tracks i will use them on the return so b on a on the return and now we send uh, the tracks to the psyscope so track a will go there and track b will go there and the advantage with this is now if we look at the psyscope uh, i didn't send i didn't enable you see they are at least they have same latency they have the maximum latency but they are aligned so we can do phasing fast stuff we can have a correct swimming correct layers and they at least all have same latency that means that now on the new psyscope i added an option to to use a global latency so if you click on sound you have percent latency but if you click on swim or layer or stack I recommend to set it stack so you can easily see if now on stack we adjust the latency all the sound will be compensated so it means we have less to deal with um, you get the idea all sound will be synced and uh, it's much easier workflow so this is the first technique and uh, this allows also to use uh, prefader or postfader depending on, on your set but I find it a bit still a mess because you have to that make a lot of uh, sense on a return bus to, to add. So I'll show you a second method which is uh, I'll delete those. There is a second trick I found it's to use uh, some effect track on master. So if you go on master and you create an empty rack and you create two empty, ch empty chains and we drop a compressor on in chain and we won't use the compressor at all so we can set ratio to one we will use uh, uh, we will uh, use it not the way it's intended to to be used we will use it to side chain to be able to monitor the track we want so the first chain will monitor my my kick for example my first track the second will monitor the other track and same here we can use post mixer uh, which let you then use the volume and see the change with the volume and yeah uh, and with this it's the same way we if we drop some size scope now uh, plugins if you don't drop size scope uh, i should have put it maybe on a first so you put your size scope after the the compressor i'll do the same for b scope so now if i press play they, and I, I i remove the correction i did previously sorry uh stack uh, yeah so you see here that same than uh, the same method they at least are all aligned so now we can do the same trick uh, compensate the global latency and they are back in sync the problem with this method is uh, you lose uh, colors and uh, track names so you can for example disable the colors and load a skin and load a default dark skin and you can also uh, in about disable text color uh, text uh, do text that's the track name because here they are all master and we can click control double click to rename them a b and uh, I think that's a different but probably better method because we don't mess around with shit tons of sands and once we build the rack we can reuse it uh, more easily so that's it I think that's the best workaround I found to deal with the live uh, bad PDC and uh, yeah otherwise uh, just for info in between it works flawlessly so <laughs> you know the deal as I report this to Ableton or at least you've got some work on I hope that can help you to if you want to do precise fuzzing in Psyscope now we can uh, you see they are perfectly synced that's it hope you like it bye